Hi everyone, this is Savvy Wolf, and I decided to finally do a collection room tour. So to start things off, I figured I'd show kind of the setup and a couple of lazy pets in the video. So to start things off, I keep the collection room door closed off to everyone. We keep the dog uh, creating food up here. He does have free room of the house for most of, most of the time, but when we're both up here, we keep him up here so he doesn't get into anything. Um, and then we got Cooper right here who wants desperately to get in, so let's let him in first. Real quick, you wanna come up? Yeah, come on. No? Yeah? Okay. All right, now that we've got all the pets up here, let's head down the hall. So off to the right is where I keep my Legend of Zelda room. Um, and then over here is where I keep the collection room and I do keep it off, keep it closed off at all times just to keep it cleaner uh, so pets don't get into it because that would be detrimental. So here we go. So coming in, you've all seen the pictures, I'm going to start off behind the door. I try to utilize every <laughs> section of my room. This is where I kind of keep my little XD sanctuary, I guess you could call it, the GameCube. I actually have two of these, the other one's in the box with the cords, and then I have my Hasbro Lugia, and then the Lugia polka doll. Um, and then coming around, this is where I spend most of my time, this is where I do all my pictures, uh, my camera, my light box. Um, these I want to get framed, but these were really cool, like, Pokedex mini file folders that I want to get framed. I actually have the Johto one with my Entei collection, because it featured Entei. But I just thought these were cool, and I really would like to get these in little frames and hang them up. I would eventually like to move my collection down into the basement, just because, as you can tell, I've outgrown my room. So, to uh, really get things started off, I guess I'll just pan around the room, because you can't really see everything in great detail, but um, everyone's seen the pictures and everything. But, um, yeah, so this is the entire room. I try to utilize all the space. So going into details, just be prepared. This is going to be a very long video. So I keep some like bags over here. Uh, there's actually a poster in that too, but I just um, haven't taken it out. And then I come down here and I even use underneath my desk. Uh, this is like my Pokeball shelf and behind it is like some old tops cards and jungle card boxes. I don't want to miss those because they're well balanced right now. I've started a little mini shiny Celebi collection. I actually have another kid figure coming in, so that way I can keep that one mitten box, and then I have more plush coming in. And then underneath, I'm not going to go through all the cards, but I keep all my cards in the binders here. I also keep my Animal Crossing and Legend of Zelda cards here, my old Game Boys. I have some other Pikachu ones, and I do still have the boxes, I just don't have them in here. Um, my old lights that I used to have. Those are some custom crayon melt drawings that someone did for me. Top one is Entei, the bottom one is a Pokeball. I just don't have the, the room to hang it up. And then my old desk helped her figures. I used to have these out of box and I used to use them all the time and Bulbasaur Shawpreneur is like the greatest thing. But you know, as a kid you lose your stuff. So I recently just replaced those. So coming back up here, this is kind of like my shiny zone sort of thing. So this is where I like to keep my shiny Hasbro figures. Unfortunately, Tyro keeps falling over. Um, I still have his box. He just like, the box was falling apart, so I still have it. I can put him back together. But yeah, my shiny figures and just some extra uh, larger Tommy figures. I do have Charizard's regular Hasbro. And then continuing on over here, these are my Megas and just larger figures. Um, just because I just don't have the room on the Tommy shelves anymore. And then coming up to the top shelf here, this is like an old Pikachu bank that someone got me. My uh, Bat by Naz. Um, some Hasbro mitten package and then I have the ones out of package. These are mostly like a mix of Tommies and Zucan figures. From my old gacha machines. I would like to get bases for all of them eventually, but that's that's another time to come. And then over here I just have like some random figures, more zoo cans, but I do have an entire Charizard collection. I just don't have anywhere to put it. So moving on to the next shelf up above, I have my Eevee Lucian figures. 
that are left over from when I used to collect all of them. I've kept kind of the figures that I really liked the most and really enjoyed the most, like the Jax and the, the new Tommy releases. I do have Jolteon's Funko ordered. It is on its way. It just hasn't shown up yet. And I'm hoping I can fit them all here. I think I can, but we'll see. But like their polka dolls, their canvases, you know, things that are, you know, are really special to me. And then up here, I have my mini Scyther collection. A lot of people don't know that about me. I do like Scyther a lot. He's my favorite bug Pokemon. And um, yeah, just the mini collection I have of him. I also like Tauros, mostly because that's my zodiac sign. So my little Tauros collection. And then here I have my Hoenn polka dolls. I would like to eventually own all the Hoenn. They're just so expensive. And then over here I have my old Talky Eevee and some other random polka dolls. And then at the very top I have more polka dolls because let's face it, who doesn't like polka dolls and some random figures and keychains that I've liked along the line. Sorry about my finger in the video. And uh, like a canvas plush. There is a B sharp polka doll hiding back there. And my old, uh, you know, Halloween plush. I do like them a lot. That's why I've kept them. And then just like my extensive, like out of control mini, like as you can't really call them mini, like little Pikachu collection. Just like Tommy figures and just figures I really liked. Like the, the, these kinds, I, oh God, what were they called? Like, I don't know, little gadget figures, little in case figures. Definitely love them. Um, I moved all my Tommies up here because it just like took up too much space. But you know, just like some extra Pikachu, because who doesn't like a good Pikachu collection? And then moving over here, this is kind of like my new plush tower. This is just where I keep plush. I don't know where to put them. So I have all my Gigantamax plushies over here, my Heartland Dialga, um, just a couple of Weasel plush that I thought were really cute. There is one more I'd like to get because I thought it was really cute. My 110, and then my 11 Eevee, and then my cute little Mew. And then like my old play-by-play, -play, my old Hasbros, and of course the I Love Eevee. Like she's just so cute, I just couldn't get rid of her. And then moving along, I have my Tommy collection. Um, I think now to date, I own all like the basic Tommies. I just don't have all the variants like the clear and um, shimmery ones, but yeah, it goes all the way down all the way down these shelves are oh no someone's falling over over there come on beauty fly sit back up so yeah oh, these are a pain in the butt so yeah just all the tommy figures and of course it gets really dark as you go down i have them stacked on top of each other because it's like it's really hard and then these are in the dark because they're like behind that big plush mountain that i have and then we come up to the alola and then Kalos. Yep. This one's my favorite. I love the Arceus line. It's definitely my favorite. And they just keep going up. Yep, and that's all of them. And then moving right along, we have my anti collection. It is extensive to say the least, if you couldn't tell. But yeah, the sad thing about Entei is that I have to keep him kind of packed away in a sense. Like I have these like really cool things back here, like an old poster. I have a whole bunch of clear files and stickers and posters back here that you can't see. Cause I gotta keep them tucked away cause I got nowhere else to put them. My 251 box, I actually have both of them. You know, some old stuff. I do try to keep things kind of centered around the same thing. Sometimes it like, look at this, there's the Pokedex. This is actually an old blockbuster movie saver. I thought that was really cool. And then coming down, like I try to make this like the movie shelf, but he's just got so much movie merchandise. And then I have the uh, most recent Pokemon Center line. I actually have everything I think I have. Yeah, I have all the items. I try to keep it so you can see everything like chopstick, there's bull, uh, there's a scroll. I'm trying to, like, I prefer to keep things mint if I can. And then moving right along on the bottom shelf, like, I have my buckets, all my miscellaneous merchandise, things that I've recently gotten, my cool little ANA plane, um, my Poke Park merchandise, some dice. I think one of these die actually fell over because I put my 251 card there, yeah. It's, it's, it's a struggle. The struggle is real. 
for keeping everything organized and together. It really is. And then moving up is all my figures. Ugh. So yeah, just a nice little close up of all these guys. Yeah, this is probably my favorite shelf here just because it has so much in it. I actually have a brand new mint with tag guy of this guy coming in. I, this video is actually outdated. I have over 40 packages sitting in Japan's warehouse waiting to get over here. These are some really cool stamps of Ente. There's another one behind it. Um, I love, love, love this tin. It's probably my favorite tin and it's just like, ugh, I want all of them. <laughs> Every time I find one, I keep buying them. Um, and then up here I have some plush, some more keychains, just things that I couldn't fit, the shiny stuff. And then down over here I have my, my clock, a um, bunch of other random stuff that I have. Sorry, I'm not a good camera person. And then up here I've got some more miscellaneous stuff, more Poke Park stuff, like a movie book. Um, yeah, lots of things. Alright, let me sit up. And then over here, I've got more, like, cups and stuff. Oh, and then we come back up here, and this is just more plush. So back in here, I have a, like, hard case. And it has a whole bunch of flat items in it. And unfortunately, like, yeah, I have to keep a lot of my flat items packed away because I just don't have the space. His beautiful love this box scale world box oh it's so gorgeous i love ed Tay so much and of course my lovely custom from scragster i actually have another one somewhere that scragster did down here so i have one from scragster and i honestly i have it on my site but someone else i can't remember who did the one on this one right here but that one's from scragster He's so cute. And then uh, they also did the Sum Sum plush. They're so cute. Look at his little face. I love him. <sighs> and then of course my giant. I do need to make a new tag for him because he does still have his cord. You can see right here. So I can put a tag back on him. Oh my God, he's beautiful. I love this plush. Like, Sui Kun too, like she also still has her cord, so I can retag her, but it's just like, oh, I love them. They are both the US versions. Um, yeah, just look at him. Oh, he's so well made. And then up here I have my random pull toy. I love it. I just I love random end time merchandise. It's my favorite. It's so good. So yeah, and then moving along we have Flareon and Sylveon sitting in their big hammocks because they have too many plush. Like when Sylveon came along, Evolution just like exploded. It was, it's horrible. <laughs> there's too many. And it's like, so he actually, so there's plush underneath of this here. If I can't really get to it now because of the socks, but if you go up and under, you can see ugh, there's plush hanging underneath of this hammock. It's too dark, but eh, you can kind of see, but they're, they're up there and hanging underneath because I just didn't have the room. And underneath I have my Heartland Charizard, which you saw me clean. He smells good. And he's, oh, he's really soft. That really worked. Um, my Pikachus and underneath my Charizard's butt is some more, um, like the, oh, these, these placemats and cups and everything in the bowl. So I do have that entire set. Underneath, there's some more Flareon plush, um, like the laying sleepy plush. I can't remember if this is the Japanese or the US one, because I do have both versions. And then my 1-1, one, one, Flareon, and then my Build-A-Bear. More hanging stuff. Yeah, and there's up top my sleepy ones. More plush. I did try to mirror them. That's what I try to do here in the basket. In the hammock, in the basket. Um, but yeah, and then the hanging plush. I got more plush up here and I started to run out of room. So I have to tuck things away. And then my big figures, my ring, more stuff I had to tuck away down here. I found this love ball. I think that's the love ball. And I thought it was just perfect for Sylveon, so I added it to her shelf. All my keychains. 
I stopped collecting these. I got, I got tired of them. <laughs> if I see them for cheap, I'll buy them. But for the most part, I'm happy where my collection is. Um, I just try to keep up with their figures in plush now. Like, it's just too much to keep up with all the merchandise. And then moving down here, I have my Flareon Mirage plush. I have more back there. Um, I think there's only one I'm missing that I know about. Then more Flareon figures and pins. My little Christmas tree. More stuff tucked away because I don't have the space. And then just his really cool paper craft plane. So thank you to the person who showed that to me. It was awesome. Then down here I have like more of my Flareon figures. Oh, a few more plush and everything. So yeah, I love the metal figures. This guy is like turned around. What's going on here? So yeah, I love the metal figures. If you know of any more colors that I'm missing. I especially want silver because I definitely know I need silver. But anymore, if you see them, I love them. So yeah, a bunch of Flareon merchandise. His three bells. I love these keychains, by the way. They're pretty fantastic. And they actually have different ones of his stamper, too. I was happy to find all those. And then moving down, I have Skitty. Lots of Skitty. Skitty has more merchandise than I thought. Like, these guys, there's definitely more colors, and I'm missing them. And why is this stamp, like, all the way out in the front? So, yeah, a bunch of Skitty stuff. My favorite Skitty item, because I think it's, like probably one of the rarest items I own. I didn't even know it existed and my my good friend Snagglebun showed it to me. And also why I'm here, I'm like trying to look for the foam stamper. Okay, yeah, it does have flowers on it. So someone showed that to me and I do have it. I wasn't sure. <laughs> I'm really bad at remembering what I have. I have too much stuff. And then I have more Skitty plush. I do have the Pokeball Skitty pillow, which is back here because I don't have the room. And then I have more Sylveon back here because Let's see if I can scooch her in there. Oh, goodness. Still on? Okay. Sorry. Oh, now Skitty's falling apart. Okay. So more Skitty. Skitty Pokeball pillow. Then my Ichabod and Kuji. Sylveon. My Sleepy Sylveon. My Toys R Us Sylveon. My Toys R Us Flareon is right over here. He's just hiding. Then my 1 1. And my little blanket I have of her. And then moving on, I have my sobby chair. So that's where I keep her. I used to keep her in the closet, but um, I think hanging up the suit stretches it. So I moved it in here and I just keep it kind of folded over on top of the feet just to make sure like she doesn't stretch or anything because I'm not getting any taller. And this is where I keep all my custom Sabi plush. This is where I keep all the art I've gotten of her. I love Sabi art. So thank you to anyone who's ever drawn me Sabi. I love you. You're the best. Then over here I have some more random plush like my two Mega Rayquazas. I do eventually want to hang them from like a ceiling. That'd be cool. Some cute uh, Pikachu plush. My shinies. Uh, Slowpoke, my husband won on Tareba, which is pretty cool. My shiny Celebi, which of course isn't going to fit underneath. And then my old Hasbro plush, which Mudkip seems to have fallen back in here. <laughs> there you are. Come say hi. And then moving along, we have my giant Pikachu from the Pokemon Center. My My mom actually bought this for me for Christmas a few years back. I was really impressed. I didn't think she actually would. Then my husband bought me this one, the sleeping version, and then just my cute Pikachu plush that are like huge and don't fit anywhere. Then over here I've got like another polka doll, the Raichu, Hasbro, my Pumpkachu, my Snow Season Pikachu, and just some miscellaneous trinkets and spillover from the Litten line. Oh, excuse me, sorry. I just ate a toasted tomato sandwich. Then down here I have my Ho-Oh figures. Um, I still have Ho-Oh's plush. I don't know if I want to sell them or not. I haven't quite fully decided. So I have these out just because I, I love Ho-Oh. Like, the color is so beautiful and vibrant and it's just like a really gorgeous Pokemon. It really is. And then this is kind of like my nostalgic collection, you could say. So I had all these figures as a kid. 
So I decided to get the full set. I was only missing a few. I'm actually only missing Torkoal now. And I think Deoxys from this set. But um, I just wanted the Hoenn Pokemon. I didn't want like the Graveler. And I think there's like a Pikachu from this line. But these are my old Hasbros. Then down here I have Litleo. He's a very small collection because he didn't get very much. But I think I have all of his plush and figure. Minus any bootlegs like it's fine if you collect bootlegs like that's all right but I just prefer not to and I just don't have the space so up here is where I keep my Cat and Incineroar I actually have two of this Litten plush that's why it's here so I decided to put the PC one over here with the other PC plush and then my custom made ones and this is where I keep all my Cat figures and stuff and my Incineroar figures and stuff and then down here I have my Noctowl and Salandit stuff. Again, Noctowl didn't get very much merchandise. And neither did Salandit and Salazzle, so I just keep that all here. And then here I have my Socaglios. Because I love Lion Pokemon, clearly. Um, again, it's just kind of tucked in there. Don't have a lot of space, so I, you know, I haven't really been adding to him. I actually sold off a few of his things just because space restrictions and I just decided you know what I'm just gonna keep his miscellaneous stuff that I have that I can really display really well and then down here are his two plush and they're gigantic so I can't really put anything up else here but this is where um dusk main Sogalio is in some stamps back here there's the steel bookcase this is my prototype of this figure that I got and then I have ooh, a tin and then coming back up here, I have my Littens. And again, another thing about my Littens, sorry, I'm like standing up, is that uh, again, out of space, so I have to put some things in front of other things. So yeah, I really need to update my site. Um, so yeah, and then I have this awesome <laughs> little Litten party streamer. I have another one on this side. And the sad thing is, is I had all his keychains, like, dangling from the sides, and they all fell off. So sad. But yeah, this is, like, the prototype of this uh, ball thrower, which is sad, because I think the prototype looks way better than the actual plush that I got. Like, look at his derpy face, and look at how nice the prototype is. Or is that not the same one? I'm pretty sure that's the ball throwing one. I'm pretty sure. But yeah. This one looks better. And then underneath I have more plush and more random things. Just things that didn't fit on the main shelf. Litten has a lot of merchandise as you can guess because it's a starter. And then I have all my figures and all my random straps. I did have them up on above there. You can actually still see the little sticky piece. But it just, I didn't like it. I liked it all together. I like being able to see all the Littens together. And there's my prototype Litten. And there's that Litten doing, trying to do a handstand. What the heck are you doing? So yeah, all my figures. Let's see if you can see them all. Yeah, my Kunut's facing away. Oh, I'm out of breath from walking around. I do have the rest of the plane. It's it's uh, it's downstairs. It's flattening out. <laughs> and then my Zero or a collection. Pretty modest. I really only wanted figures and plush. I didn't really want to go too crazy with him. The, the miscellaneous stuff was just things that I've collected from people over the years or things that were cheap and I just got. So, yeah, he's not really, I don't really consider him a main. It's just kind of like keeping up with figures and plush. And then that brings us back over to the XD. So that was it. That's uh, the collection room. Uh, I don't know what else to say. Um, so yeah, if you didn't see that I had something from any of my collections and you're, you'd like to contribute to the wonderful Pokemon room, especially Entei, I love my boy. Anything Entei that you have that you didn't see, um, let me know, because I would love to add to him. Um, or a giant Raikou, because I need to complete my trio. So yeah. That's everything. Thanks for joining me today. Sorry the video was so long, but it's a really big room. <laughs> and it's already outdated because I have 40 packages over in Japan. But yeah. 
any questions or help finding your own figures or plush or anything, let me know. I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend. Bye.